Star Wars fans, Lego fans, welcome to a very spooky episode of Low Bricks. Um, for those who are new or haven't been here before, this is the video series where we are building a giant Lego Tatooine mock out of uh, Legos on an old Barfred and ping pong table. And we do other things, uh, mostly Lego and Star Wars related. So on this week's episode, because it's, all, it's Halloween week, and it's uh, Mandalorian Season 2 is launching this Friday. We're going to do a special kind of spooky episode. But before we get to that, make sure you like the video. Make sure you hit subscribe. Leave us any feedback or comments you might have about the video series or our mock. Uh, we love to hear anything. Give us some love in return. That would be great. Um, so with that, let's talk about today's episode. So this is going to be a scary episode. So for the younger kids at home, you've been warned. So it's going to be a two-parter. We're, we're going to do two things at the same time. We're going to be going through the top 10 scariest LEGO Star Wars minifigures. And then while we're counting down, we're going to throw some jump scares at you. Some of the scariest scenes from the LEGO, um, not LEGO, Star Wars TV shows and movies. And there's some scary ones, so be warned. So with that, let's get to the top 10 list with some jump scares thrown in. Here we go. And I almost forgot. We have not forgotten about the mock. I know last week we didn't do the 501st. Or we did do the 501st and we did not put anything on the board. So one of these top 10 minifigures, scariest minifigures, we're going to put on the board today. So stick around to the very end to see us put this minifigure on the Tatooine mock. So once again, here we go with the top 10 scariest minifigures with some jump scares thrown in. I'm so scared. All right, coming in at number 10. As you guys well know, I am not a big fan of Phantom Menace. And one of the reasons is this guy. He's kind of a younger version of Yoda with a mutilated face and his ears are huge. He just is just creeped me out. And his minifigure is no better. So at the number 10 scariest minifigure, it's Evan Pell. And here it is. He kind of looks like a creepy little goblin thing. No! All right, coming in at number nine, which just as coincidence would have it is also from Phantom Menace. And um, you'll notice this guy the character in Phantom Menace wasn't that scary. His name was Gascano, and he was one of the pod racers. Um, but have a look at this minifigure. Um, I, this was in the early days of the Star Wars uh, Lego partnership, and they hadn't quite got it down yet. But um, yeah, this one is just weird and creepy and uh, not a very good representation. So here is the ninth scariest Star Wars minifigure. Gascano. All right, coming in at number eight is actually from the TV show Rebels, and this character was as creepy as his minifigure. So his uh, name was Imperial Inquisitor Fifth Brother, and here's a look at him in Rebels, a uh, scary looking dude. And he was actually sent out by Lord Vader to, uh, among other things, hunt down Jedi and uh, kidnap children. Uh, so this guy would definitely give kids nightmares. And his minifigure isn't much better. It's a pretty creepy looking minifigure. So here we are at uh, number eight of the, of the scariest Star Wars minifigures. Imperial Inquisitor, Fifth Brother. All right, coming in at number seven, there was nothing kind of scarier to me um, when I was younger than just plain old ghosts. They're usually wearing the white sheets and the old cartoons, and here's a look at them from super old cartoons, and they're always scary and hanging around old haunted houses and stuff. So um, have a look at this minifigure, which, you know, at first glance, I, it's C-3PO, uh, an all-white C-3PO, and I think this was from Christmas, but... 
to me, he looks like he's uh, like a ghost here, uh, almost uh, dead. Um, you know, like he's going to come and haunt you in the middle of the night in a creepy house or something. So, yeah, this one you probably might not agree with. But here is my number seven scariest Star Wars minifigure, Ghost C-3PO. Yeah, this one needs no introduction. Um, Darth Vader in the tank, uh, which that was from Rogue One. Uh, this minifigure is just plain creepy. Uh, real scary. So this is the number six scariest Star Wars minifigure. The Darth Vader in a tank, all pruny and gross. And definitely reminding you of Frankenstein here for Halloween. And coming in at number five, no list would be complete without Darth Maul. And, you know, I was trying to, I was looking at all the different minifigures at Darth Maul, and definitely the scariest one is Robo Legs Darth Maul. Uh, with his two sabers, his red saber and his black saber. You know, his body got chopped in half by uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. You know, started out as kind of a, a spider. Um, and then later he got his robo leg. So this is the number five scariest Star Wars minifigure, which is Darth Maul with robo legs. Coming in at number four, it's, uh, and it's even though he's smiling all the time, uh, you got to go with this guy because, well, uh, the devil horns. Yes, Satan. That's right, Ace. He looks like Satan. So coming in at number four is Labria, the Deveronian. <laughs> so yes, number three is Palpatine. Um, and... Uh, you know, as creepy as he looked in Revenge of the Sith and uh, in Rise of the Skywalker with his red eyes, uh, the minifigure is worse. That's just awful. Look at that. Yeah, that they they. I'm not sure uh, who designed that minifigure, but woof. So that is the number three scariest Star Wars minifigure, uh, Red Eye Palpatine. And coming in at number two is the Borg. Okay, I don't want to start a Star Trek Star Wars uh, fight here and get, get in trouble, but take a look at Battle Damage Darth Vader and tell me who you think he looks like. Anyways, coming in at number two, the second scariest Star Wars figure of all time, is Battle Damage Darth Vader. And yes, he is scary looking. And yes, he does look like a Borg. we have reached number one so the all-time number one scariest Star Wars minifigure is this guy and if you're not sure who he is you're probably not alone but that is just one weird minifigure it's it's often considered the worst Star Wars minifigure of all time and uh, if you don't know who he is, uh, it's Aldo Bido, who was, again, one of the pod racers um, from Phantom Menace. And, uh, yeah, this minifigure is a, is a mess. It's Aldo Bido. And uh, although, you know, it, it's definitely scary, it's probably, you know, if you compare it to the others we looked at the list today, it's probably hard-pressed to say the scariest, but it's definitely the oddest and the weirdest. Um, 
and in many circles on the internet, it is the worst uh, Star Wars minifigure of all time. And again, from the early days of the Star Wars minifigure. So that is the list. Excuse me, but the most safest place would be... Okay, time out, time out. I think that last one was a little too scary. Um, I, it's definitely been uh, the stuff of my nightmares for years. Um, wait! Excuse me, but the most... Oh, don't show it again. Uh, it's, it's, too, it's too scary. It's too much. So, well, anyways, now that we have seen the scariest minifigures, there's no more jump scares, so, you know, you guys can settle down. That last one was a little too much, even for my heart. So, um, now it's time that we put one of those figures on the board. I think you can guess which one it is, since he belongs in the cantina. It's our first minifigure that we got from the UCS cantina set, which is Lebria. I'm probably butchering his name. So let's go ahead and put him into one of the booths. All right, so you probably guessed, because it's Halloween, who we were gonna be putting on the board. And it is Labria, uh, or it might be Labria, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but we're gonna stick him in the cantina. He is directly out of the UCS uh, cantina set. Uh, you can kind of see a little bit of a sneak preview for next week there in the corner, but uh, that's just a little Easter egg. So let's put Labria in the cantina. All right, well, we thought no better place to put Labria, Labria, then next to the Wolfman, there's an open booth there. And I think if you kind of look at where the cantina scene was, let's cut to it real quick here so we can see Lavery in person. He's a spooky dude. Okay, so he's kind of somewhere in the middle facing towards the front door. So I think he fits next to Wolfman. So let's... Uh, Let's put him in there. His cloak is a little up in the air. We'll fix that later. So there we go. Labria is in the cantina. Let's see if we can see his face. Yeah, he's always laughing, this guy. So there we go. All right, well, whew, that, uh, this has been a scary episode. Uh, um, and uh, that's about it for this week. Oh, what, what? Uh, no. No, he, he is not awesome. No, you're, you're not awesome either. Never join the Empire. All right, so that's about it for this week. Um, I cannot wait for this Friday to watch Mandalorian uh, um, Season 2 premiere. Uh, I'm sure we'll be talking about that in the future. We definitely uh, have something planned for when they revisit Tatooine. We want to see what he does on Tatooine, try to get it onto the board. Make sure you watch uh, the podcast that I'm part of, which is Tales from the Dark Side. I'll put some links in the description. We're actually going to talk a lot more about Mandalorian um, second season. And uh, again, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you leave us your comments and feedback. Oh, one other thing. My assistant has been uh, very busy. He hasn't been doing the Friday videos, but not to worry. He's got some good stuff filmed. He definitely will be back. He's just got a lot of things going on with school and work and all kinds of stuff. So um, he will definitely be posting videos on Friday when he can. But not to worry, this video will be here every Wednesday. So uh, we'll see you all next week. Have a great week. Have a great Halloween. And bye. Ah, uh, scary.